Les, congratulations on an outstanding career. You are the face and voice of football in Australia. For three decades, you've kept the faith and seen football grow from a sport on the fringes to one of our biggest. This is in no small part because of your life's work. If a bigger and better future for football is ahead, and I believe it is, it's because the sport stands on the shoulders of giants. You are a giant and you will always be Mr Football. This is a celebration of your contribution to football as well as your work at SBS. So congratulations on a truly remarkable career and all the very best for the future. What an amazing day, Les. On behalf of everyone at FIFA, I would like to wish you the very best for the years ahead. We know you will remain passionately involved in the game, that you have given so much time, love and energy to over the years. I would personally like to thank you for so many decades of dedication to football. You know, we share a mutual understanding and friendship in football, a game that means so much to us both. On a professional level, I would like to thank you for your commitment to ethics in football through a decade of service as a member of FIFA's ethics committee. Your love for the game and for telling the story of football on SBS in Australia has been second to none. Your hard work and enthusiasm for the world game has helped us to boost the popularity of football and to develop it as a major sport in Australia. That is true service to the game, public service to the game. I only hope that now you are leaving SPS, you may be able to make a bit more time for your old rock band, can you? I hope so. All the best to you, Les. It's great. Thank you. SBS, hosted by Les Murray. Good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. Welcome. Buonasera. And hello again from the World Game. I'm Les Murray, probably the longest running series since Bonanza. If you're a soccer fan, there's a pretty good chance you'll have to put up with my face on this screen more often than you think. And welcome to USA 94. Good evening. Welcome to France 98. The word welcome, I guess, is stretching it a little when you're an Australian in a place like this today. Canaco, it's time. This you ever had some chicken paprikash? I haven't, mate. Actually, I've never had it Hungarian is, food. It is the ultimate, I'm telling you. It is like scoring a hat trick. Oh, hi, Les. I'm about to start a new show here at SBS. Any advice? Yeah. Pretend you're from an ethnic minority. I pretend I'm Hungarian. Do you realise how hard it is to keep up this accent? Les Murray's office. I'm Les Murray. <laughs> Hello, Les Murray speaking. Get out. No nicknames like Leso or something. <laughs> 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 Hi, Les. Dear friend, trusted colleague, cappuccino connoisseur, perfect pronouncer of all the foreign names that we have to deal with in the world game, all delivered in that golden voice of yours. Fellow hater of the term soccer, and yours has been a wonderful story, probably better than many that you've actually reported on the air. Undoubtedly, Hungary's loss is Australia's gain. And if the next chapter of the story is retirement, I don't really believe it, but you're telling me that it is. Have a great one, mate.
But uh, wish you, I don't think I'll be with you in 20 years. <laughs> and probably our lasting testimony is the day that we walked into the stadium in Adelaide and they called us Mr. and Mrs. Soccer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure who's Mr. and who's Mrs. Love and marriage, love and marriage. They go together like a horse and carriage. This I'll tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other. One of the most epic games that I have had the opportunity to witness, and I've seen a few, as you may be able to guess, and of course one in which we were all emotionally involved. And Johnny Warren told us so. I told you so, I told you so, and there it is. He's been proven to be right again. Johnny, we hear you. Tell us about it, what you felt, and how was it that the Australians managed to pull this one off? Well, because they're a team of heroes, that's why. And the heart that these guys have had, I don't care, I've seen nothing like it. All right, Fuzz, relax, have a beer, and I'll join you in a moment. Hi, Les. Well, you carried SBS football for so long, uh, philosophically and even operationally, managerially, it's about time that you let life carry you where she may. Enjoy your time. No doubt football will always be close, so we'll see you at some games. We probably will see you around here a little bit as well. You deserve everything that you've been given in life, and you certainly deserve a little bit of time to yourself now and your lovely partner. All the best, buddy. Les, you've been a leading light for soccer or football, the great game in this country for as long as I've known you, and that's a pretty long time. You were there at the beginning of SBS, you drove the network to the rights for the World Cup, and what a great thing that was. I felt your pain when Australia failed to qualify in 1998. I think the movie show actually sent you and Johnny Warren flowers to commiserate. I've never seen two such devastated people. But look how far we've come, and it's largely because of the commitment of people like you. Les, you're an icon of SBS and of Australia. I have such admiration for you. And you know the best thing about you, Les? You love movies. The very best of wishes to you. Love you. Hi, Les. It's Frank here. I want you to know how much I appreciated your involvement, and I would like to wish you all the very best. But please, make sure that you don't stay away from the game. G'day Les, David Gallup from FFA. It's a great opportunity to wish you all the best in retirement. You're a genuine pioneer of Australian football. I think when Australians think about the world game, they hear your voice. You've been a guy that's championed the game and made people realise that we, it represents something that is about all Australians from wherever they come from. And also you've reminded people that football is in Australia is part of something bigger. It is the world game, it is the beautiful game, and we'll always remember your contribution. Say hi, Papa. Have a good time, Evan. Yeah! Yeah! Les Murray's classic World Cup stories for children will delight youngsters of all ages. Les's book is full of memorable moments. Beckenbauer had invented a new tactical position, the libero, a floating sweeper who clears up behind his centre halves and turns defence into attack. Stories that will keep your children coming back again and again. Will the great Eusebio save the Portuguese in extremis? And isn't that a lesson for all of us? <laughs> Les, you've taught me everything I know. Because of you, I can correctly pronounce Budapest. Because of you, Olympiakos just rolls off the tongue. And because of you, Valencia, Zaragoza, and Gijon don't sound like a new line of Spanish chorizo. Mesdames et messieurs, Mr. Les Murray. Volare. Oh. E cantare. Whoa. Right, let's get to the point of this segment, uh, which is, it's a big day for uh, big Rocket day, today. Yeah, what is it? Big day for Rocket today. Rocket's eight years old today, and I have my special Rocket hat, and uh, here he is. He's obviously very excited about everything. Happy birthday, Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Damo. Thank you. Happy birthday, Rocket. I yeah. uh, can't believe you've actually lived this long and got this far, but uh, congratulations on that. 
Hi Les, uh, just want to congratulate you on a fantastic career at uh, SBS and uh, obviously um, your uh, key role in, in the growth of football in our country. Uh, uh, from my perspective, uh, having lived all my football life in this, uh, in this country, it's, uh, it's been fantastic, fantastic to see uh, where we've come from and it's always important to remember that the, the people there at the start were the, the important ones that, driven, that drove that on and uh, you're certainly a key part of that. Um, I'm not going to say good luck in your retirement because you can't retire from football, as you know, um, but hopefully uh, you can sit back and uh, enjoy watching, uh, watching the game develop even further. Good luck. Les Murray, Tim Cahill. Just wanted to congratulate you on your contribution to Australian soccer. You're an absolute legend and most importantly a gentleman on and off the park. So uh, fantastic for the sport. You're going to be missed, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll see you around soon. So take care and enjoy yourself. Hi, Les. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on, um, on your career you had with SBS. Uh, we'd like to also thank you for uh, giving us all the support in the past years um, and basically being the face of football when I, when I was growing up. I remember always getting up early in the mornings watching game and, and seeing you on TV. So uh, we have great memories. Uh, thanks for everything you've done and uh, we will miss you. Hi Les, just want to um, obviously congratulate you on a, a long and tremendous career in, in, in and being at the forefront of Australian uh, football media for a very long time and uh, you know you're well recognised, well respected in, amongst your peers and, and amongst the football community and uh, I wish you all, your, all the best in your future endeavours. Ocupino wants the wall back, Charlie Ank is, gonna, is going to attempt it. Here's Yankwan, curling it, outside netting. Oh, it's gone in, it's gone in, it's a goal. Charlie Yankwan has put it in. An unbelievable free kick, which has left this gallery absolutely stunned with pilot. It sailed around the wall in such a death way that one thought it hit the outside netting. But in fact, it's a goal for Australia. This is a better angle at it. Hitting it hard, driving it into that corner on the far right of the goal. And Maradona over the ball with Renica. And two men before the war, Renica hits it and it goes in. And it's Napoli who strike first. Do you feel sometimes that generally, not just for Napoli but also for Argentina, you're carrying. Uh, a bit too much responsibility on your shoulders. Ah, io sono piccolo pero forte. Non c'è problema. The winner this year is the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany, Italy versus Australia. Onward to South Africa 2010. Thank you. You've inspired me on so many different levels. Uh, when I was playing, your face was there. When I was watching football, your face was there. And now that I've come to SBS, your face is there. And I'm sure uh, now that you've decided to retire, I'm still going to see your face around. You should enjoy it. You've been inspiration not only to me, but uh, the whole country and a lot, lot more. So uh, enjoy it and, and thank you. Oh, lovely, Les. I can't believe this day's finally arrived. When I was a kid, I used to think, well, I was convinced that you were Croatian. I actually thought you changed your name from Les Maric to Les Murray, and that is no joke. Les, I love you, I respect you, Will, and I can't wait for the next chapter of your life. It's been uh, great working with you over the years. I think it's been now something like 20 years that I've known you professionally, and uh, certainly uh, uh, personally from uh, before that uh, in viewing football in Australia. So enjoy the retirement. I hope your, your golf game sharpens up. I'm sure the lunches will get a lot lo longer uh, in your retirement, and we'll see you soon. I mean, when you think of SBS and when you think of football, you think of Les Murray. So um, I don't know whether he was born with grey hair or <laughs> it just never changes, but... <laughs> But it, um, it still, looks, still looks full of body and um, I hope that whatever, sort of, whatever he does in the future it is, is successful as what he was with SBS. Um, you've dedicated so much to this game and in the short time that I've known you, you've really touched my heart, my family's heart for a number of years. So I think it's time that, um, that you enjoyed life. You know, without a true believer in a person like Les Murray, SBS probably would have given up the ghost years ago and 
the, the, the football would never have been on, on mainstream TV or wouldn't be in the position it is today. And, you know, it wasn't until I got in the national team in the mid-80s that uh, Les Murray, who had a very, very good relationship with Frank Lowy, uh, Frank Arrock, sorry, um, that uh, was so fanatical and passionate about uh, football and, and Australian soccer and, and the Socceroos that he was every day at training uh, with the national team and he, you know he was reporting the game by himself and you could pick up the newspapers and you wouldn't even know the Socceroos were playing in town but uh, Les Murray made everyone know that, they, that we were playing so Les, uh, thanks for all the memories and um, you've been fantastic, fantastic for football in this country and uh, you won't be forgotten. Les, it's been great watching you over many, many years. Um, you're very well known to me and to most people as Mr Football here in Australia. I must say, I grew up watching you and um, so much fun we had in the old National Soccer League through all the Socceroos games and today's current UEFA Champions League and and World Cups, um, you left us with many great memories. Your voice is one in a million and uh, what more can I say? Um, I grew up watching you and it's been a fantastic journey, not only for me, um, for everyone, for yourself. I wish you all the best in whatever you choose to do. So Les, on behalf of all aboard in the entire SBS Corporation, I want to thank you for your passion, your dedication over the last 34 years and for your huge contribution in making SBS what it is today. And I certainly learnt a lot uh, working alongside him, watching the maestro at work. Indeed. We're, we're the apprentices to his master. <laughs> Les is more. The one question trouble You'll have to excuse me if I'm a little bit nervous tonight. I'm from SBS. Sitting in this room is the biggest audience I've ever had. And as that he'd show anything. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. Glass of vino relaxo is mandatory when you're cooking. Cheers. Blah, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The highs and lows of last weekend. It stops me sleeping at night. Oh, sorry. Andrew Pascalidis, who of course is quite uncommitted on this uh, summer soccer issue, aren't you, Andy? I'm all for summer soccer, I'll tell you that now. Is it on every week? <laughs> <laughs> i got to leave that out. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, that's in the script. That's life, Harry. Or Larry. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost ready to uh, check out those lineups. Here's our commentator, Mike Hill. Hello, I'm Les Murray, and no, this is Top Sock. No, oh, no, it's not. No, no, <laughs> stop! No, stop! No, Hello, and welcome to no, 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 I'll give us a no, count, no, no, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> and that's the program for tonight. Our apologies again for the uh, problems we experienced experience earlier. It's been quite a hellish night here. I'm turning to carpentry next week. Let's cross live to Hindmarsh Stadium and Carl Patterson. Are you ready, Carl? I promise you, I didn't have a run-in with a bunch of English hooligans last night in the pub. I'm, I've just contracted a virus here in the European winter. I hope I, I won't scare your children. company this evening from the team 
And for the last time from the World Game, good night.